Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, I've gone ahead and weighted the rest of the character here so that we can um, bend his arm and all the bones have been weighted to every part of the character. Now, it isn't perfect by any means, but um, this is good en enough to allow us to go ahead and work on the rest of the character here. So what I'd like to do is work on setting up an IK chain for the legs of the character and also setting up a foot roll rig. Um, IK stands for inverse kinematics and what that will allow us to do is for each of the limbs of the character we'll be able to have one control object say at the ankle or at the wrist and we'll be able to move the entire limb from that one point. So for an IK chain to work, you need um, a target. You need um, an object that the IK chain can target and follow around. And what we'll do is just duplicate this bone to be our target. So I'm gonna go into edit mode and just press Shift D and duplicate that bone. Uh, let's change the name here to maybe foot ik.l. So now this is going to be our target. And we, when we duplicated this, it brought along the parent-child relationship. So this is still a child of the lower leg bone. So to break that, we're going to press Alt-P and we're going to choose Clear Parent. So now that is a bone in and of itself without a parent or a child. All right, so now that we have a, a target, let's go ahead and create the IK chain. So let's go to pose mode and come over here to the bone constraint panel here. And let's add a bone constraint. Let's add inverse kinematics. And what that'll do is it'll give us this panel where we can choose our target. So first of all, we want to choose the armature, which is the only armature in the scene, and that's fine. And the next thing we want to do is choose a bone that this IK chain will target. And I've got mine right here, this foot IK.L. You can also just type foot in there and it'll search for it. So I'm going to choose foot IK. And I only want this IK chain to go up two bones. So I only want to include the lower leg and the upper leg into this IK chain. So for the chain length, I just need to put two here. So now theoretically, I should be able to select this foot IK bone, press G, and there goes my leg. So now we've got an IK chain here that can control our leg. But you can tell when we move this bone around, the foot bone doesn't exactly stay in line with the IK bone, the uh, IK target. So let's constrain that foot bone to the IK target. I'm going to toggle over and switch the foot bone instead of the IK bone. And I'm going to come over here and choose a copy rotation constraint. And for the target, let's once again choose armature and for the bone we'll choose that foot IK again. So now if I choose that foot IK bone, I can hit G and move it around and it stays aligned with that IK bone, which will allow us to rotate that bone and the foot will come along as well. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, to get the um, rig back to the default position, I can hit A to choose everything, and then I'm going to press Alt G to reset the location of everything. You can also press Alt-R to reset the rotation and Alt-S to reset the scale. All right, well, that's pretty good, but we need a little bit more control over the foot if we're going to animate this guy. So let's work on creating a foot control rig. 
what I'm going to do is go back to edit mode here and select, say, this joint and press Shift S and cursor to selected to get it to that joint there. And I'm going to use that to create a new bone here. So I'm going to press Shift A and that creates a new bone right there. Now I'm going to hit G and hold the control key and I'm going to snap this down to about here. This foot roll rig is going to allow us to roll back on the heel and roll forward onto the toe, onto the ball of the foot here. So the next bone we need is, I'll go ahead and create it here. I'll select that joint and press Shift S and cursor to selected. Once again, Shift A. And then I'm gonna press G and hold the control key down and bring this down, say, to right about here. But this bone needs to be flipped. This bone needs to be rotated 180 degrees. So I will press R and hold the control button down and snap it down 180 degrees. Okay, so we've got that. So the foot is going to roll on the heel at this joint and it's going to roll on the ball of the foot on this joint here. Another bone I'm going to need is one that's coming out of here. So I'm going to move the cursor to this joint and press Shift A and create this bone. Press G and Control and move this out like this. And one last bone I'm going to need is at this point as well. I'm going to press Shift A, create that bone. Press G, Control and move this down here like this. So this bone here is going to be responsible for rolling the foot up on the ball or the toe. So I'm going to call this one toe roll.l and this one here I'll call heel roll.l and this one back here is going to control which part of the foot the roll is going to happen on. So this one we can call foot roll. Mm, let's see. Actually, what? yeah, why don't we call this foot roll CTRL for control dot L. Foot roll control dot L. And this one is going to be the main foot control. So we'll call this foot control.l. Now we need to set up the parent-child relationships between all of these objects. So we need to select this foot roll IK. I'm going to click and then click again to select this foot roll IK. And then I'm going to shift select the toe roll bone. And then to parent those two, I'm going to press control P and choose keep offset. Now I want to select the toe roll bone and then select the heel roll and also press control P and choose keep offset. Now I want to choose this roll, this heel roll and this roll control and parent these to this main foot control here. Pressing control P and keep offset. So what I should be able to do now is go back into pose mode here and select this main foot control. And if I move this around, that should control everything here. I should be able to rotate it as well. So now the control of everything is coming from this main bone pointing down here. In addition, you should be able to select this bone now and roll the foot up at that toe. And also you should be able to select that heel bone and roll it back at the heel so you can kind of get a sense of what it's going to be like there. But we want to be able to control these roll bones from this bone back here. So we want to be able to roll this thing forward, which will then roll the foot up on the toe. And we want to be able to pull this down like that and it will roll it back on the heel. There we go. I just pressed Alt-R to get that back to the way it was. So what I want to do is I want to select this toe roll bone 
and add a copy rotation constraint. Under add bone constraint, I want to choose copy rotation. And for the target, of course, I want to choose armature. And for the bone, I want to choose that. Let me see if I can find it. I want to choose that foot roll control. Oh, I misspelled roll there, didn't I? I want to choose that foot roll control. I want this to be in local space for both of these. And I want to turn off or uncheck Z and Y. I want to have it only rotate in the X axis or the red axis here. So now if I choose that bone and roll it forward, you can see that it's rolling now that bone up onto the toe. And that's what we want. Now also we can limit the rotation of this bone. We should probably do that. I'm going to click Add Bone Constraint and add a Limit Rotation Constraint right here. And for this, I'll limit it in the X. Um, I'll limit it probably by 45 degrees. Let's try that first. And let's make sure and choose Local Space here. So now if we rotate this bone up, that should only come up 45 degrees. Now let's do a similar thing for this heel roll back here. I'll add a copy rotation constraint. Choose my armature under target. And for the bone here, I'll choose that foot roll control. I'll change this to local space and local space. And that flips that back around. And also I'll uncheck Z and Y. And lastly, since we want it to, we want this heel to roll up when we pull this bone down, I'm going to click invert here. Um, let's limit the rotation as well on this. Let's select um, add bone constraint, limit rotation. And just like we did before, let's choose local space. Let's limit it in the X. And once again, I'll put 45 degrees here. So theoretically now, we've got the heel and we've got the toe. So now that rolls forward and rolls back like that. The only problem we have now is we need that toe bone to stay parallel to the ground. I'm going to select that toe bone. And uh, once again, I'm going to create a copy rotation constraint. The uh, target is going to be the armature. The bone is going to be that toe roll. So let me type in toe. Here it is, toe roll. We want it to be in local space. And the important thing here is to click the offset box right there. So now let me just save real quick and select this roll control. So if I roll it forward, now it rolls forward on that toe and that toe bone stays parallel to the ground. And then if I roll it back, I get that roll back onto the heel. So that's, that's pretty nice. The last thing I'd like to do for this leg is to have some sort of a knee control. So if we move the leg up like this, let's say, I wanna be able to point that knee where I want it to go. So what we need is a control that will allow us to move that knee back and forth. So let's work on that. I'm going to select this joint in edit mode. I'm going to select that knee joint and move the cursor to there. And then press shift A to create a bone right there. Now I'm going to select that bone and move it straight out in the Y axis here until it's so a fair distance out from the knee. I'm going to bring it out just a little beyond the toe here. And we want to, of course, call this uh, something meaningful. I'm going to call it um, knee CTRL dot L. And if I go back into pose mode and select that lower leg, the IK constraint panel has a little pull target field here. So if I choose this field, this pull target field, and select the armature again, and for the bone, I can select the knee control right here. 
and that will allow the knee to target that bone. Now you can see it's, it's targeting it, but it's pointing in the wrong direction. So if I select that lower leg bone and choose this pole angle, what I can do is bring that knee into alignment to point right at that knee control. So let me move this around a bit, like so, and move this just to make sure we're getting that properly pointed here. That looks pretty good. Something like that. Maybe negative 90. Maybe I'll put negative 90 there. There we go. And lastly, we should probably parent this to something. Probably the most reasonable would be to parent it to that main foot control. So I'm going to go back into edit mode, select the knee control, shift select the main foot control, and press control P and choose keep offset. So now if we go back to pose mode and I select that foot control and move it around, you can see that it comes along with the foot. So now I can move it to there and then take that knee control and move it around like that. So now we've got our IK leg, our foot roll rig, and our knee control all set up. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do this again on the other leg. And in the next video, we'll take a look at uh, finger controls and maybe the hip control as well. So thanks for watching. See you then.